AW Center and the department exhibit strong leadership on key strategic initiatives and college priorities, such as our initiative to eliminate anti-black structural racism. The Judge A.W. Center affords our students invaluable professional development opportunities in urgent areas of academic research and public policy reform. Taken together with their proactive investments in forging community partnerships for education, justice, and ethics, the Judge A.W. Center truly embodies what it means to be terrapin strong in the face of adversity. Following uh, 20 uh, years of uh, enjoyable life on the federal bench, I wanted to apply my experience and passion to establish a policy center to address challenging issues of our time faced by the underserved and disadvantaged communities. And so the mission of the Judge A.W. Center is to research, develop solutions, and provide a forum for lifting up and discussing prevailing issues and challenges faced by the underserved and disadvantaged communities across Maryland and beyond. As of 2021, exonerees, according to the National Registry of Exonerations, served a collective 9,344,000 days. Men and women who were innocent of the crimes of which they were convicted. Now right here in Maryland, according to the registry, just as of last week, as a matter of fact, there have been 42 exonerations since 1989, and those exonerees served a collective 221,555 days, 607 years. Now take a moment to reflect on the enormity of that loss. My clients, they talk to me about aging parents and aging children. They talk about missed birthdays and funerals, the cornerstones of our lives, births and deaths. They talk about growing old themselves. Did you know that in Maryland, if you have a criminal conviction and you've served more than a year, felony or misdemeanor, you can never serve on a jury. You are permanently disqualified. When you are aware of the racial breakdown in our prisons and jails, it becomes clear what portion of our population is being disenfranchised. Last session, legislation was proposed to change dis juror disqualification in Maryland, and I hope to see that legislation pass this session. There's also important juvenile justice reforms up this session as well. Maryland charges more children in adult court than any other state other than Alabama. One of the juvenile justice reform bills would end the automatic charging of kids in adult courts. I hope to see that and other juvenile justice reform efforts pass this session.